Shame on them because they're really missing out on a wonderful child that is so much to add. A local mom is fighting for a child spot on her school's majorette team. She told Channel 11 Serafina James she thinks her daughter was cut from the tryouts because she has a disability. A Schindler teen had dreams of twirling her baton and cheering on the school's team right here on the field. She practiced for hours. She even hired a private coach, but in the end, she didn't make the team. Tonight, her family says that's due to discrimination within the school district. Ice cream scoops. Angelina yeah. Gizzi has had a baton in her hand Airplane. since she was four years old. Uh, butterfly. The 14 year old has had her moves down and she has the trophies to prove it. So when she went to try out for her school's majorette team and didn't make the cut, it came as a shock to the Shaler School District freshman and her family. I just don't understand why it was. You know, out of everybody that tried out, we had two freshmen and why one wasn't, one was taken and one wasn't. Angelina's mom, Tony, tells me her daughter has an intellectual disability, something the district is well aware of. They even created an individualized education plan for her. Saying that she can participate in sports and not be excluded for anything. And they should properly give her an aid. Um, to help her succeed in anything she wants to do in Shaler. But according to Gizzy, special accommodations weren't made. And when she approached the district to ask why her daughter won't become a Shaler area majorette, the district told her they didn't want an aide on the field and thought the noise from the crowd would be too overwhelming for Angelina. I feel like it's um, a little bit of discrimination to say the least, amongst other things. I reached out to the district about the matter. They told me in part, quote, Shaler area makes every attempt to be inclusive in all educational and extracurricular activities and provides accommodations for all of our students to be successful. They went on to say, unfortunately, we're not able to comment on specific student matters. However, we can share that the school district is open to working with our families. Yeah. High five. <laughs> in the meantime, Gizzy's message for her daughter is to keep on twirling and her message for the district. This year they're going to Disney and I personally think they just wanted a, uh, a you know, the perfect squad. Shame on you. That's all I can say. In Shaler Township, Serafina James, Channel 11 News.